something a little bit different here. I feel like I say that every time we jump into the street stock. We are here at Lime Rock Park. I can't believe I almost missed this one this week. Uh, it's Monday and uh, this week's about to change over. I almost missed out on a really interesting combination here. So we are road course racing in the street stock. And I'm actually pretty excited to give this a try. Uh, I did my practice and uh, had fun. This, this car is surprisingly fun to uh, drive around on road courses. Uh, we were at Rudskogen not too long ago. Or I guess it has been a decent bit of time. It was before I left for a while. But uh, it hasn't felt like it's been all that long. And I en actually really enjoyed driving that. And uh, this time we're at Lime Rock. And if we can survive the barrage of people that inevitably will be overdriving the corners and slamming into the back of people at the start of this thing um, and get some room, I think we can have ourselves a fun little race. I, I hope so, anyway. I'm not the fastest by any means. There are some guys that are really cranking out the fast laps. In fact, I saw some sub one minute. But uh, I've al I'm almost there. I'm one minute. Point one, and uh, got me second best in the open practice at a time. I don't know what like the top times all of this week are or anything like that, because I didn't even know this was happening. I normally don't really look too very long at street stock, but uh, sometimes if they're doing something interesting, I'll give it a try. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, like I said, I just hope I can survive long enough to quit myself. Uh, kind of messed up the chicane there. Lots of time to be gained or lost in that portion of the track. And I'm underdriving just a bit, making sure I keep it between the white lines. For, at least for the first lap. We'll see if we can push a little bit more this next lap. But we should be in the one minute range, at least, I think. Yeah, one minute four. That's not too bad. That's Paul. That lap was at one, zero, I zero. moved my brake bias all the way forward, because these cars don't brake all that all that well. And uh, I want to be able to you know, get in the corner pretty well. It likes to get loose on throttle, but you can catch it so easy. In this car, it's... Uh, Maybe not easy is not the right word for it, but you can get away with a lot, I guess. Oof. That's not good though, that ruined the whole lap. Man, that was that's too bad. I was getting uh I was having a pretty nice lap right there, and then like I said, that chicane right there. And we're going off. Ooh! Yeah, bad second lap. I tried to push too much. But uh like I said, that chicane right there, lots of time to gain or lose. That's all right, we got ourselves a solid first lap, I think. And that should get us a decent enough starting position. First in line to get smashed into from behind, <laughs> maybe. Um, there's some guys that are gonna beat me, I imagine. Like I said, guys in practice I saw with sub one minute, and I don't see the name on the board yet. There's one of them. So we're gonna drop a couple spots, but that's all right. It's uh, not going to matter too much where we start, so long as we can finish it. Obviously, it helps to be further to the front of the pack in a road course race, but it's going to be a lot of luck just not getting destroyed. And we are the number two with my 3.5k road eye rating. That means pretty much nothing when you're going to drive a street stock on a road course, though. I guess some of those, uh, some of that experience transfers over, but maybe not so much. So we uh, see what guys got. I'm, I'm very surprised the three has chosen not to qualify. Um, he was the guy I saw in open practice with the fastest time. He had the sub one minute. So I was expecting him to go right to the front, but he's choosing to, to hang back and maybe that'll pay off for him. If he uh, survives, this could just be a huge disaster, and I recognize that. 
Um, I'm not going to get too upset over it. It'll be disappointing if I don't get the run very long, but is what it is. Actually, I just realized none of my changes stuck. That kind of stinks. So I qualified with the wrong settings. I want to put that down a little bit, and then, like I said, breaks forward, so... That's too bad. I thought it would it would transfer over for practice, but oh well. We got it, got it fixed now. What I'm used to. Apparently, if I finish fourth, um, Race Lab says says I'll pretty much break even on road eye rating. So I guess we'll shoot for a top four, but that might be ambitious. Realistically, I just want to survive. Line up on the left side. Um, we will do all time optimal. Just try to hit fast laps. No reason to do uh, do anything else. Here, there we go. Get something. I hope people around me are reasonable, but like I said, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> as far as I can see, I'm the highest road safety rating in here with an A3.7. Although the uh, number one's an A3.2. That's pretty good. But then the two guys ahead of him are D license, and then we've got C license behind us, which... You know, they could be alright, but, you know, they haven't uh, maybe had as much experience even. Or maybe just don't drive higher licensed cars, but more information the better than planning your route, I guess. I actually have the dash I'm going to keep up here, because the engine sound on this car for some reason so quiet and uh that can be important to, sh to be able to hear because you need to know when to shift when you're shifting so much on these road courses so i'm gonna put the dash up there just uh, to have another way to visually see when it's time to shift and stuff so that's why i have that up the air temp is 78 fahrenheit We need to follow car number zero, four, in the right column. I wonder what gear we're going to start in. Get that ball, car. I'm going to leave some space in front of me and try to get a good jump. For the sole reason of hopefully getting some room behind me. Heading into turn one. So if they overdrive it, they have some... Room for error. See if it actually turns out how I hope, though. 15 laps. Pretty quick race. Should be. Obviously, cautions will uh, just be local. That's a good call. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Glad he said that. So that was a uh, smart decision, I think. Single file through the chicane. Only we could call that up during the race. Alright, good luck, gentlemen. You gotta be here in the tire I think I'm gonna do third gear start. I might regret this, but. Get ready, going green. Nah, you know what? We're slowing down now, so I'm gonna. Why are we getting hit from behind? Yeah, second gear, I think, was the way to go. Didn't get much space, but is what it is. Right side, clear. Right side. Still there, hold your line. You're getting no room. Still there, hold your line. Let this guy go, probably, because I don't want to get pushed off the course. Clear on the right. All right, kind of just have to do what we need to do to survive here. Stop's okay. Now find your groove. All right, we have made it. We lost some spots, but I will trade that just for uh, longevity. <laughs> Appreciate you talking about red a lot of whack here in the first lap. 
Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, we will, we will. Dude, every time I get the Saji, you change lines. That's why you got hit. Mm hmm. Car on your left. Still there. Six. Come on, Lady, you're both pretty. More speed. Don't you run the left. Yeah, running into each other a lot. I'm just trying to be defensive. Got the hide is driving in really hard. Alright, we get a good run through the chicane, that's good. Easy to overdrive this corner and end up sliding off into the grass, so kind of just taking it easy there. Seven's off in the grass. He holds on to it though, like I said, you can uh, get away with a lot in these cars. Fifth place. Try to get up to speed now that we've got some room and can drive in like we want. That three, if he remembers the guy, I said was really fast and started at the back. That's how fast he got up to us. It took him like one lap. <laughs> I just put that together. Pretty crazy how many spots he gained. Although I guess as the number three, he probably was at the front of the guys who, uh... Fastest lap for Johansson. One, zero, 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 point three. That last lap was at zero, 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 point seven seconds. I tried to get alongside him, couldn't quite do it. Alright, got alongside him, but he outbreaks me because I didn't want to slide into him. Which is alright. We'll just keep pressuring him, see if we can make him make a mistake. Or get a better run sometime later. See smoke. Something might be happening up ahead. Whew. I've been told the car behind is catching, and that is fine. I do think he's faster, so if he ends up passing us, that's not gonna wreck myself trying to keep him behind me. But for the most part, he seems kind of like holding even. Sector one is 0.4 off the pace. The car ahead is just on at 1.0.0.4 seconds. Drove that a little bit. Maybe we can bring him back for a good exit. 0.0.3 seconds. That's pretty good. Leaders right up there. We're, they're not really all that far away. Dude, how are we going to slow, man? Feels like you get like four tires sliding these cars a lot. It kind of makes it difficult to figure out. Whoa! Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Bad angle. That's Seven's gonna get loose. Come on. Come on. I had to enter that final corner at a really bad angle, and that kind of messed me up from being able to actually overtake the guy for real. He's gonna slide job me, I guess. Don't run in the back of him, though. I think the seven's gonna kill his rear tires. I don't know how much tires matter, but the way he's sliding constantly, I think he's gonna have a very low amount of grip by the end of this one. Not a very good chicane that time. All 
right, Colton? Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. See, lots of people leaving. They must have uh, run into issues. Seven off the track again. He might get his get himself in trouble with incidents. He keeps getting off tracks. So, um, didn't get destroyed by any means. Yet. Go ahead, Jen, I'll let you go here in the break zone. Got the chicane pretty good that time. Guys ahead did decent enough, though, still. Pretty oh, much. Check up into that corner. Just right. Rain drops right now for some reason. That's not my favorite. I'm gonna break early with this line of cars in front of us. We really need to be in front of this car. Sectors one and three are two tenths off the pace. We need to find a tent in sector two. You see, guys, we're really getting on the throttle. I've been more easing on to it. Seems to do the job just. Well enough. No way I can try to pass into the chicane. Even if we're this close right now. Oh, he's destroying those things. Still there. Keep to the left. He's gonna have to have let him go here. We're gonna crash. If we try to fight him right there. Huge run. Not enough to do anything with, though, I don't think. Okay, Colton, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. He's using, like, the curb to get turned, it looks like. Or maybe that wasn't intentional. <laughs> Night. These are some really scary moments with guys getting loose, especially when they're right in front of people. So uh, that can lead to contact really easily. Oh boy. Oh my god, he's parking it. Holy cow, man. I can't overtake right now. Whoa, why is he so off pace? Did he break his car? He's like slamming on the brakes. I guess he's okay. Just had to gather it up. That lap time was 102.1. Really would like to get around this guy. Struggling at this point, I think. Showed the nose, didn't scare him though. Gotta find the right opportunity. Not a very good chicane there, went through kind of easy. really missed his mark. There. Lost a ton of time. Now he's blocking. How the hell over the floor? I don't know. Either. I literally lifted to make sure it wasn't. Like that was an accidental block, maybe? I don't know. It's just going to take a defensive line where the guy was overtaking. Man, 
Man, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of missing my marks. I don't know if it's like the tires are less grippy now. I'm kind of just losing my touch here. Thinking about other cars and all that. Got four laps to go. Ooh, I can't believe he hasn't wrecked yet, to be honest. I guess it's show, it goes to show how much you can get away with. Both guys ahead just sliding. Slow car ahead. Slow car ahead. That's, uh, oh. Guy that was in second. Contact. It's gonna overtake, even though I was going to there, going in that lane. Lift for him because we're in the same spot. Your lap time was one hundred two point zero. Tons of guys losing all their grip. I'm feeling okay. I've been easy on the rears. Maybe too easy, but feeling like I've got a lot more grip than maybe these guys have. Go right. Alright. My first 1x as I have to dodge that. It's gonna get real loose. We gotta go yeah. outside. Two more. Let's go. Take a weird way around the corner, but that's two positions in a very short amount of time. All right. And the guy behind crashed as well. I think they just lost all grip by the end of this thing. I'm feeling better and better about uh, my underdriving. I think. Very tempting to just slam on the throttle with how much you could get away with, but I think it does really add up to a loss of rear grip by the end of this race. Jake, I'll let you back here shortly. I'm actually surprised how much fall off there is, too. Like, it feels like I'm driving just the same, but just there's less grip, so you have to slow down a little bit more. Some serious tire fall off, actually. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. So I don't think we have anything to gain up ahead. Definitely should be good behind us. We've got tons of room back there. I think guys have been wrecking. Three still looks pretty loose, but he's fast. So I definitely will need a mistake out of somebody if I want any any more positions. We do have lap traffic coming up. Could contribute. Jordan, did you finally wipe your car out there, buddy? Oh, you got a slow car on the left. Oh, what do I want to hear? It's the front the left. Looks like we're okay. All right, one more corner should be able to pull off a podium. All right, podium right here in the prestigious Street Stock Road Series. <laughs> All right, pretty good stuff. I think uh, good race, good win. Great job, you did really well. I think it really did pay off to. Not slam the throttle. So you can get away with it early, but it comes back to bite you, I think. Judging by what I saw. I never really got loose. I saw the aggressive guys wrecked and leave. Yeah. That's how it usually 
Yeah, that's usually how it works, huh? Ninety three, ninety five. We're actually on the right front more. I guess I need to look at both sides you on road course. Home, my car was pretty hurt after the first couple laps, man. Wish I was gonna run, could have run with you, but I got dive bombed by that guy. I thought he was gonna win from twelve rows deep. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a good race. Otherwise, uh, I really honestly expected much worse. I didn't know what to expect too much going into this, but you know, lots of uh, good racing for the most part. So. Good one. Good one. I mean, I didn't change the lanes right there on the start, dude, but I was obviously trying to go, you know, everybody was way, was way far back, dude. He just totally, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we did pretty good on incidents, just the 1x avoiding a crash. Got some other people that had more issues. <laughs> Unfortunately, that guy that I was just talking to apparently got run over right from the start. We'll see some of that right now. We check out all the incidents. Alright, this is what he's talking about. Seven just shoves him off the course. What it looks like, maybe. Uh, okay. I see what he was talking about. Yeah, seven just pushes him right off. That is kind of dirty. Huh. Oh, that sucks. I didn't see any of that. I, I kind of feel bad being like, yeah, it was actually better than I thought whenever he literally gets shoved off right from the start of the race. I didn't know about that. But uh, Just talking about what I saw racing up front, like I didn't get plowed from behind, so maybe I was just lucky. But, you know, when I imagined this combo, I imagined like 30 car pile up into turn one. That's what, I, my, what my point of reference was. 11's off the track, having wrecked. Chicane's gonna get somebody right here. It's tough. Once you get off that off the course too, there's just grass for a while. You're gonna be sliding across. Seven really taking out some of those turtles. I don't know if you can damage the car doing that, but I'm sure it's not great to do. 18 going into the corner really slow. I think the 15 wasn't ready for that. At least it looked like he was from my angle. Going in slow, I mean. Over here. 18 loses it. Chicane claiming another victim. Going to be lots of wrecks in the chicane. Definitely. Reese is off into the grass. Weird. The nine just decided to <laughs> plow into the back of the three instead of taking the run. Huh. You know what? I think I remember that. Um, I thought it was blocking when I first saw it, but it doesn't even look like it was blocking. I think they might have been friends or something because the response to that wasn't like, "Hey, what'd you do that for?" It was kind of like, "Well, shoot, that didn't I expect that to be a four X like." Plus, otherwise, why would he, like, bump draft him unless he was kind of trying to help them both be fast? Not sure. So they might be pals or something or on the same team. There's the nine taking out the five. I didn't realize he gave him a push on entry like that. From my view back there, it looked like the 5, I, I didn't know that 9 did it to him. I thought the 5 was driving and hit this and, and then broke loose. I didn't know the 9 kind of dumped him. So I was... <laughs> I was viewing this race with rose-colored glasses, I guess. It was not as clean as I thought it was. But 9 gets instant karma, getting loose right there, and that allows me to get around. And there's your winner, practicing practicing his Gran Turismo 
license challenge where you stop right at the line. You ever do those like in Gran Turismo? Like you break challenge, whatever. That'll do it <laughs> for this one. We get ourselves a top three and one of the cleaner drivers in the field, so that feels pretty good. Along with the 1, 13, and 14. Pretty good company. 13's up there with the top 5. Did a great job. Fortunately, the 14, I guess, didn't didn't show up at all. So, actually, one of three people. Oh, wait, no. The 16. 16 also did a good job. So, you can see how it pays off. The worst finisher that got a 1x or lower was 7. So, you know, if you just keep it clean, I think it really does pay off. And uh, we were able to do that for the most part. Get ourselves a bronze medal. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Fun, interesting combo, I think. Glad I gave it a try before it's gone. And uh, pretty soon here, I'm going to start the new week here on Monday night. The new tracks. So hope to see you there. Have a good one. Appreciate you. And thanks for watching.